Hey gorgeous, welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a second video to check out some of the stuff that I got in from BH Cosmetics, Ulta, and Sephora. And I decided to do this um, just because like all of these things, like they're either my holy grail products I can't live without or like nifty new stuff that I'm trying. So let's get started and we are going to start off with my BH Cosmetics products. Now this, I was so excited to try this out. This is their Blacklight Highlight 6 Color Highlighter Palette. And it's got like some neat little colors, if I can just get it out of the sleeve here. There, that's what we do with that. So, check it out. It comes with a mirror and these really pretty highlighters. And I know like... These have gotten really popular lately. A lot of companies have come out with similar palettes. But H Cosmetics had this one in for, I think, 17 bucks, and I caught it on sale for, like, 15 I thought it was neat, and I had to check it out because I'm a huge fan of rainbow anything, colorful anything on your face, you know. So it just it screamed Becca all the way, if you ask me off my spectacles here and I'm just going to start off with this pretty blue color and we're gonna put her all up on here now girl last night when I tried this out for the first time oh my god all right so you'll see why I was so excited about this like I was looking at it like hmm but then I put it on and like the noise that came out of me, oh my gosh, it was like a hybrid between like a gurgle, a snort, and an evil laugh, like I, I was that excited, uh, it's just, oh, it's so pretty, look at that blue highlight on there, and I know like with the camera and the lighting, it's impossible to really see what it actually looks like in person, but I promise you, it just has like a nice blue iridescence, and it's not like a blue streak on your face, because that, that would be lame. So, I love it. I'm digging the blue, but eh, this one down here. Now, I was such a non-believer with this one, too, because, I don't know, it looks pink. It looks like they added a second pink shadow, or... A second pink highlighter sorry guys I just I just got off of work and I couldn't wait any longer to do this so my brain's a little fried but I'm coming at you anyways so it looked like they added a second pink color and I was like mm, I don't know and then I threw it on and this happened oh Oh, <laughs> see, there's that sound again. So you probably don't want to use a fan brush with these. If you really want like a bam, beautiful, pigmented, colorful highlighter, you're going to want to go in with a little one of these. It's kind of like a, like a small powder brush, Just a small powder brush. And I feel like this picks up product way better than, say, a skinny little fan brush. Then, because I am such a sucker for liquid black eyeliners, I wanted to try theirs. This is supposed to be just your regular felt tip black eyeliner. Here, we'll pop it right out. And I'm always looking for a new, like, really nice black eyeliner, you know, on the cheap. Oh, this looks very similar to my Wet n Wild felt tip. And... You know, that's a pretty dark line. I like that. That's a decent formula. All right. Move on to my Ulta haul. I just wanted to show you. I had, like, a serious stroke of beauty genius with this last night. So check this out. All right. I'm going to... I'm actually going to use that purple again. And this is that Huda Beauty liquid uh, lip color that I used in an earlier video. 
my last video, in fact, if you would like, you can check that out too. I did a tutorial on this eye look. You know, this actually stayed really well. I just needed a little bit of a touch up on the inside. But look, I'm going to go in with this purple. And when you have kind of a sticky uh, liquid lip formula, you can set it really easily with like a translucent setting powder. But I use this highlighter. And you just dab it on. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean right here? Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, I'm sorry. Can we just... Oh. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, moving on. Next is my Ulta Beauty haul, and we are going to start with these. So this right here. This right here is their Banana Setting Powder, and I didn't really have high hopes for this, but, oh, I love it so much. And it is a great, it, it does the job. It's a nice, like, fine powdery texture. It works wonderfully, and it's like seven bucks. So, or I caught it on sale for like seven. And then this right here, the little rainbow highlighter, I was just curious. Uh, surprisingly, I actually do not have any kind of a rainbow highlighter, and I just, I had to pick one up and see how it does. Then, and we are going to swatch it just to see, see how it comes out. So like on my finger, ooh, you can kind of see like if you swipe right across, you kind of get all the colors. There, I did my best. Oh yeah. So you can, you, you can kind of, you can get that rainbow feel off of that, like, so I wonder, oh, I don't know, am I going to mess it up if I, like, blend it all? Here. So when you blend it, it comes off more like gold blue down here. So it comes off more as like a gold and blue, but you can definitely just swipe right down and catch all of the colors. Next, I got this. I've been dying to try this out, like, especially when I'm doing tutorials. This will come in handy. It's like, it's a shadow switching pan. So you can get this metal part wet and just kind of wipe your brush. You can get the dry powder off on the black stuff out here. And I picked this up. It's a fully charged serum and moisturizer two-in-one from Nia. Now this skincare brand I'm not incredibly familiar with, but it like, it came highly recommended, and it's got so many good reviews, and y'all know how much I love my skincare. So I really wanted to check it out and give it a try. I'm always in the market for a new good, like, face and eye serum. So this is what it looks like. I just got a little sample bottle of it just to try it out. I will get back to you on that. And with that, I got this stuff. Apparently, it is by the same brand. It's Strivectin. It's like a, it's a neck tightening cream. And it, it was a free sample, so I figure why not. But I'm actually going to try it, like, on my smile lines and my forehead ridges. I'm going to, I'm going to see if it can tighten that. If it's, if it works for the neck, I don't know. I wonder. Alta sent me a bunch of little samples. Gosh, don't you love that? Just free little samples. Find out if you like something. Here is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and I'm dying to try this. I love It Cosmetics, and in fact, I got one of their products today. And, um, you know, I'm always, I love me some CC and BB creams. Let's see if it works. Next, I got the uh, Dr. Brandt No More Needles, I believe. It's like, oh, it's a wrinkle relaxer. So it's like a wrinkle serum. We'll see how that goes. I love Dr. Brandt. And perfume. But this, this I was interested in because, all right, let me just read it to you. So this is the Urban Decay. I thought it was a perfume. I was like all trying to smell it. It's an eyeliner. It's the Urban Decay Perversion, and it says, 
It says bigger, blacker, and bolder. <laughs> All right. So now that I am over my immaturity and dirty mind, let's just pull it out. Actually, a little mascara. I could have swore it was an eyeliner. First, I thought it was a perfume uh, and then an eyeliner. Now, it is a mascara. Apparently, I need to read packaging more often. So, it's got a nice little wand on it. You know, good size. And though it is little, you can definitely grip it. I'm excited to see how this works. I already got mascara on or else I test it out. I love the packaging, though. Good job on that little adult humor. Never hurt anybody. So now we are going to move on to my Sephora haul. And, you know, I suppose we can start with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Elimination Concealer. And this, you guys, I cannot live without. You want to talk about a ride or die product? I love it. I love it. Now, it is a little hard to blend out, and it is, like, very very much illuminating. So I actually put this one on underneath my foundation right after my face primer. And I feel like it really, you know, like my under eye circles can be really dark sometimes, but like it helps so much even on those days. And here, I'll just put a little on there for you so you can kind of see if it'll ever come out. Yeah, anytime. There it is. Ooh, it's a little bit thicker than my other bottle. I just had a little sample from Ipsy, but I've been dying. So, like, yeah, you can see it's got a little bit of an illuminating, highlighting shine to it. And it really helps to correct that darker blue color underneath. And I like it for around my nose as well. It, I've got the Sephora house brand uh, liquid foundation. It's a 10 hour wear perfection foundation. And I got the color medium 25N in beige. And I really, and I really like this. It's not exactly matte. It's not dewy. It is literally right in the middle. And it just, after it dries down like 20 minutes or so after putting it on, like it just I don't know, it has such a smooth feel, and it's not, it just, it feels like you're not even wearing makeup. And, like, I don't know, it's a, it's a medium coverage foundation, I should tell you that right now, and I was really upset when I discovered it, but it's very buildable, and I just, I love the formula. If you haven't tried it, and you're in the market for a good foundation, this is the stuff. The final product from Sephora is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. <laughs> I love the name. It's um, meant to tighten your the skin on your thighs and ass cheeks. And I actually was curious to know if this would work as an eye cream as well because it contains like caffeine. And caffeine helps wake up your skin just like it does you. Um, it actually doesn't have coffee, though. I think it has guarana, which is one of my other favorite herbs next to kratom. And I used to see how it would work for my under eyes, and I actually used it today, and I think it helped a whole lot. So they let you pick out three uh, samples at checkout, and I believe if you ask in store, they will too. And I just got like a glycolic night cream, a mask, and some perfume to try out. And like I said, I got hooked up through Ebates and other than cash back, they also gave me a code for a free sample of the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. And it would figure that I am also getting this in my Ipsy this month, so... This one will go to the giveaway pile. Also, they sent me a nifty envelope full of more perfume samples. I like it. It's like a like a Mother's Day sample kit. That is it for my hauls today. And let me know what you think. And especially what you think of these highlighters and 
about my lips. I know I look all crazy with multi color going on, but I just wanted to show you guys these are really, really awesome. And of course, if you think there is a product out there that I should try or I need to add to my must-have collection, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. In the meantime, honey, I love you all. Mwah. Bye, everyone.